everybody. Welcome back to our Crafty Corner. And today, if you look behind us, uh, we're going to make some maracas from our adventure to Mexico. Miss Sheila didn't think about what color she was making her demonstration maraca. But we're going to do a better job. So here's what you need. One egg, plastic egg, not a real egg. <laughs> not a real egg. A plastic Easter egg or whatever you want to call it. Of course, I chose pla clear plastic spoons. <laughs> here, let's see if I can hold them. I got my long arms here. Yeah. So we've got two spoons here, plastic. I used washi tape because we have that at my house, but you can just use regular tape as well. Mm -hmm. And then we have some beans here. You can put those in or anything that'll make some sound. So maybe some rice, maybe even a couple pieces of hard cereal. Or mm -hmm. in here, I have some gum. Some candy. If it makes that sound, you feel free to use some of that. Yeah. Little rocks outside, mm -hmm. anything. So first thing you're gonna do is open up your egg and yeah, fill it. And we're gonna fill it up, and then you can kind of close it and check and see if it's too much, too little. So we're gonna see. That sounds pretty good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you want, you can even pick up the pieces one at a time if you have something bigger. Um, obviously with rice, you wouldn't want to do that, but you can. Use your pincer grasp to pick it up and put it in, and you can even have your kiddo count as they put it in. And for the older kids, they can use chopsticks, mm -hmm. tongs, anything like that, something that they have to pick up um, and try and make it a little bit heavier. Yeah. So you're going to just take your tape, and I'm going to use the washi tape just because I have it, but also because I think you can see it a little bit better than regular tape. So it's pretty easy just to wrap around. You can see this takes a lot of bilateral coordination to do this. Mm -hmm. So for our little ones, you might need an adult to help you. For our older kiddos, you can fold and put the tape on on your own. Another thing you can do for our older kiddos, if you want to hold, say you do have something the size of these beans, you can hold them all in your hand and practice moving them one at a time to your thumb and first finger and dropping them in like that, okay? Without dropping the rest of them that are in your hand. That's really tricky. You can even switch to your other hand and do it that way too. Okay. So I taped it. I taped it at the egg and I taped it at the handle. And now we have our maraca. And just like our other crafts, we would love for you to take a picture with it after you make it and show it to us. Or you can make a video. You can dance with your maracas. It's a great way to get some movement in. You can put your maracas up, bring it down, do front, behind, mm -hmm. roll around. Anything you can do for, for movement that they can do for maracas. We can't wait to see your maracas. Thank you for tuning in to our Crafting Corner. And we'll see you next time. See you next time. Bye. Bye.